Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And uh, let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Rap beef. Bro, it is an amazing, an amazing time in music history. Not just rap. Not just rap. Not just hip hop. Not just, not just a black thing. This is a beautiful time in music history yeah because there has not been a time that i can remember in past where two of the titans of the industry two of the most well-known well-respected for their lyrical content masters of the arts are actually clashing head to head and it is serious it is not just bar for bar it's song for song this is an amazing time, and we have to acknowledge it. We have to acknowledge this. I mean, I'm all I'm acknowledging it. Tell me what you know so far, Jonas, and I'm gonna fill you in on what I know. Oh, I don't know a lot. What so you know? you're talking about Kendrick Lamar and Drake. Yeah, yeah. And to tell you how little I know, I thought Kendrick had the beef with somebody else. Okay, wow, that that hurts my heart a little bit. That's fine. Because I, I thought know. what we talked about this this beef, but this beef is briefly. We talked about it briefly, in but the past. it evolved from something else because we didn't talk about Drake much last time. It was Kendrick and so oh uh, J Cole. That's what it was. Yeah, we talked about J Cole uh, bowing out of the beef. So essentially, what happened is that uh, Kendrick threw a shot at Drake on a song he did with uh, Metro Boomin and uh, uh, Future. Future. Yeah. Okay. And then. Uh, Everybody was like, is Drake going to respond to it? So shots fired was Kendrick. He yeah. started the beef. So Drake came out with the song uh, called Push Ups. And in the song, it is a direct dr diss at, at Kendrick Lamar. And I know it's it's like high school culture, but still it's so much fun to see two two guys essentially I mean, battle. people like rap beefs. It's, yeah, it's essentially battle rap. And I, I'm sorry, it, it could be WWE all it wants to be. It's still fun to watch WWE. Okay. All right. So either way, um, he drops a song called Push Up. So the first song in the series is Push Ups by Drake. In this song, he goes at Kendrick Lamar. Like, it's a full song, not just like a, a, yeah, He dropped a, full, a line in one song, and Drake's like, I'm going to give you a full song. Yeah, it's a full. It's playing on the screen at, at, if you're watching on the YouTube. Um, at least the lyrics are. A full song, and he goes at he goes at Kendrick, but he has to go at a bunch of people because as soon as he released the song, a bunch of people came. Kanye West released a song that was a diss song towards Drake. Really? Rick Ross released a diss song at Drake. Like, oh my God. like the tons of people started to, and Drake was like, "Why is it? Why is it f me?" It's like the Wu Tang Clan. Why is, he, why is it f me for? <laughs> He's like, I'm just out here being a, a, a having yeah. Ghost Riders. You know what I mean? I yeah. Just, so everybody jumped on. So it was it was a very uh, it, like it made it kind of made Drake's Who case wrote for the song him. for Drake. Yeah, no, he wrote the song himself. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. I mean, okay. I don't have any proof. All right, on the second song that Drake did, that one came a few days after Kendrick Lamar had not made a response, but Kendrick Lamar made like points that he was ready for the battle or whatever it took, and he he was ready to move on with whatever the next. Uh, the next stage was like, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. But it took him like, I think it was 17 days. So like just over two weeks. Oh, wait. So Drake dropped. Then there was silence. So Drake dropped again. Oh, so, so, so Drake dropped again and he dropped the song Taylor made. That's the one I'm playing on screen currently. Okay. He dropped the song Taylor made. This one utilized AI where he started the song off as Tupac and then he rapped with Tupac's voice. And then the next part of the song, he's Snoop Dogg, and he raps in Snoop Dogg's voice. Okay. And then the third part, the third part of the song, he raps in Drake's voice. Now, the significant... So what, did, what was Tupac and uh, Snoop Dogg's response? Uh, well, Tupac's dead. Oh. But his estate did want the song taken down, and uh, Snoop Dogg was just happy that he was like, oh, that's cool. He did that. But I'm sure he probably contacted his... Uh... <laughs> I want Snoop Dogg to come out with a diss track. Nah, man, Snoop Dogg is way more business snappy than he lets than he lets off. He's just not smoking weed all day. He's a he's a billionaire. Yeah, yeah, Either way, he um, the song was very cool, but the significance to him using Tupac and uh, Snoop Dogg was that those are West Coast legends, right, right? right? And Kendrick Lamar is super West Coast. Obviously, Drake is Canadian. What's but, that? North Coast? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, North, I guess Coast North Coast rapper? I don't know. Yeah, the, uh, so the song was very cool, and he was basically just saying, like, Kendrick, you haven't released a song. What's going on? He was like, you're letting down the greats. 
of your own state. You okay, know? okay. So it was very Basically cool. Basically challenging him, saying, why you being a bitch? Yeah, yeah okay. and I thought it was a cool song. It felt very it felt very fun. It's a, like a typical Drake oh, song. Oh, the world's watching a chess game, but are you out of moves? He's like, you don't, you don't fight, you don't <laughs> Exactly. Okay. He was basically calling him out. And then... I, there's not much to say about this song. He's essentially just calling him out. Like, I thought you were going to say something. Because Drake, honestly, he's showing, like, I want you to fight back. I'm ready for you. That first song I released, that's nothing. I got more in the tuck, is what Drake is saying. Oh, right he's, so he tucks. He's he's prodding him. He's poking the bear a little bit. Okay, okay. So Drake tucks. So this not, it's not going to all be about Drake. We got to move on. Because that song's cool. But we're going to move on to, honestly, what I have to say is my favorite song out of the four so far okay and, and that is euphoria so first song in the in the is in the in the in the queue is push-ups by drake okay taylor made by drake is okay. the next one if, if you want to follow along at home if you don't it's cool but i'm going to go through the timeline and then euphoria by kendrick lamar and then we'll get into the fourth one in a second here but it is uh I can't remember the name right now. Six Either one, 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 Euphoria is my favorite song out of the four. Okay. And I have to say is that Kendrick Lamar is kind of up right now. Um, this song is so good. It is so, there's so many parallels. Like I've seen breakdowns of both songs. And, okay. there's, and there's a lot in Drake's songs where he says like in pushups, he says drop and give me 50. And that is insinuating that Kendrick Lamar had to pay $50,000 to get dropped from his label. And there's just like some other little uh, double entendre. Nothing too sneaky. This song goes so crazy. Does he talk about his son with a prostitute? Bro, I saw a breakdown in this song where he says that he goes to a restaurant called Ho King. He says, I'll be at Ho King eating Chinese or eating Chinese food with the blam blam. And I saw a breakdown where like they're like, this new Ho King restaurant is actually featured in one of Drake's rival rappers in Toronto where <laughs> that is seven minutes from where he got robbed in two, in 2016. Also, this new Ho King restaurant not is a is a place where all of the gang violence has been known to go down. Where like a uh, a gang shot two guys now. It's like it's so crazy that he this, did his research. Bro, this guy did research. He makes a lot of different. There's so you got to listen to it, watch a breakdown. It is so interesting just the way like these guys are doing mental jumping jacks. I've always thought in my head like I could be a rapper. These guys are insane. It may just be money. I'm sure they all have teams of guys who are working on stuff and they're right, like right. and they're just like here's some information see if you can make a connection and make it into a rap. But okay. still, this is it's crazy. And this was this is my favorite song. So Euphoria is the, is the is the third one in the gathering. And then one came out which is today the day we are recording, which is what day is today? Friday. The third Friday the third Jonas yep yep the last song is 616 in LA there's no reason I there's no reason I couldn't remember that uh this is the third this is the third song I listened to it three times on the way to the grocery store today okay I, I don't know I kind of feel like this is a miss I kind of feel like it's a miss there's a lot in here I haven't seen a breakdown of it yet but it 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 could this one could be played on the radio as well but euphoria is the way to go i got i can't give you too much information it literally just came out today but this is the fourth offering um, maybe there's some even deeper cuts you don't even know like next week you're gonna be like that was fire yeah i, I exactly exactly the only significance i can tell you about this is that the fact that drake dropped push-ups and taylor made within a week of each other and then kendrick drops euphoria and 616 in la within a week of each other. And it was three minutes longer than Drake's. Oh, man. Euphoria is six minutes fucking long. That song's amazing. There's so much good stuff in it. Shoo! I've been... <laughs> okay. Shoo! I'm on it, all right? Either way, so that's back-to-back. -back. So, you know, you can't say, well, I released two, and then you released two. You're, you're, it's bar for bar. That's what I'm saying. It's okay. Like, the fact that you can't even make that argument... Of like, well, you know, Drake released two, and then Kendrick only released one. Nah, well, but fam. Kendrick's song was longer. So, it, Euphoria's up. 
the most amazing this record I've heard in a long ass time. That shit goes so hard. He makes fun of the way he raises his child. Oh my god. It is insane. It is insane. Okay. It is insane. Either way, look, man, rap beef is so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, Jonas. Get hey. Out, what do you what do you think? Are you excited, Jonas? Oh my god. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm whoo! Man. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, all right, I'm going to go get my beer out of Other the than, uh, <laughs> that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonah. TNT. Oh, uh, yeah.